everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back with another movie review. This was another one that uh, another subscriber had suggested to me. And um, I'm going to see if I can pronounce this correctly, because I, <laughs> I took my friend's advice. Uh, Shazad told me, learn Hindi. I mean, I could hear him say it. Please, I'm thinking, yes, Shaz, it'll, Shazi, I call him Shazi. Shazi, it'll be easier for me to learn Hindi because that way I won't have to look at the stinking subtitles all the stinking time. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to try to pronounce the title as well as I can, given the fact that I only know one thing in Hindi. Um, so the title is Dil de Pago Hai, or uh, The Heart is Crazy, and of course, Sharuk. Ooh, um, <clears throat> crushy washy. <laughs> Sorry, I know he's a married man, but no, he's just so stinking sexy. All right, I got that off my chest. Done and out of the way. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? But I've just fallen in love with the man uh, ever since I've seen Don and Don too. I just, I adore him, but not just for the fact that he's very handsome, but he's also a consummate actor, and he's just exceedingly talented. But, um, you've got, um, uh, Nisha on his left, and Pooja on his right, and Rahul is the main character, and Rahul, he's under the impression that, that love is not a many-splendored thing, and he doesn't really believe in the institution of marriage, he just kind of poo-poos the whole thing. And Pooja is like me. Pooja believes that there's somebody for everybody and <laughs> that her her dream man waits for her. I'm, I've had dreams about my perfect uh, mate. Well, perfect is not a good word, but relatively speaking, everything's relative. But she um, has dreams about him and... <laughs> She's actually engaged to be marrying AJ, and AJ has gotten a job overseas, and he's he's away most of the time, and they've known each other since they were kids, and, you know, they were best friends, and he was a good experience for her, but not her twin flame. Her twin flame is Rahul, but she doesn't really realize this until later on in the movie, when he, he she hears him whistling, and it's the theme that she knows she's... I know that song. And the same thing when he thinks he's a he's a producer and he's doing a musical, and he, he did when he was on tour and everybody's just going crazy and they just love him. It's, it's kind of like art imitating life in a way, and uh, <laughs> um, he says I'm calling this next one Maya, and they're looking at him like that's it. That's all you got. Just. Maya, this ethereal concept, this fantasy. You don't know anything about this girl. And he, he says, no, but I, I know this woman. I, it's, she's made for me. And this whole time, he was under the the auspice of just not believing in, in love. That, and, and love, I think, is the one true constant. It's just something that unites us and gives us hope and conquers all things. And I believe this very deeply. And it's just like Pooja says this. Everything that Pooja says in the film, I thought, oh, my dear Lord God, I am Pooja. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of scared me. But I thought, you know, I'm okay this way. I, I'd rather be an optimist than, than not. And I believe in the power of love. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Um, Nisha's an accomplished dancer. And she, <laughs> under the under the... <laughs> the influence of tequila reveals to um, Rahul that she loves him. I thought, Nisha, you're drunk. Go to sleep. And <laughs> there were a lot of things I really enjoyed this about this film. Uh, the the the, um, the main thing, the reprise of it, and um, unlike Kalho Naho which had kind of a bittersweet ending. Although it was happy, this had a very happy ending, and I was so pleased with it. And, of, of course, the the end screen was somewhere, 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 someone was made just for you. I thought, yes, there is somebody made for me, and I'm waiting for that person. I know they're out there, and I know they can hear the sound of my voice. 
<laughs> and I will wait and I will be patient and it will come just like all things come all good things come to those who wait uh, there were a lot of elements that I absolutely loved uh, uh, one thing I really like of course music duh all, all the songs were just tremendous the the pref the the preface with there's somebody made for everybody like the monsoon needs the rain and uh, I actually wrote a quote and I th I thought oh yeah I've heard this before no wonder and it's from one of the the better song oh they're all good songs and the main vein uh, you know fall in it comes from the song fall in love with I which I really enjoyed but uh, the lyrics were the moon whispered something to the night this the the moon whispers something which the night heard fall in love I thought oh no it's so sweet I love it I know it's all mushy and I think no this this is right up my alley I know it's kind of girly but you know I'm I'm a tomboy but stuff like that is just I live for things like that and it just makes me so happy and you know there were times I was watching them and like run to him go 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 and it, <laughs> I thought uh, if people actually heard me saying things like this they would lock me up in the loony bin and throw away the flippin key oh well I would not be alone but <laughs> I would be in the company of some really interesting people uh, <laughs> But uh, there were hearkenings to the 80s and 90s with the fashion that uh, Rahul had in. <laughs> I had to laugh. I thought, yeah, this is very reminiscent of 1980s and 1990s. And I'm wondering if it's true, if there were Bali films that were made that were exactly like this with all the bright color. I love the color. I mean, the colors just pop. And the dance moves, and uh, there was a song in which kids dance, and there was a monsoon, and oh, it was just precious. It, it was the most endearing thing I've ever seen. But I just, I loved it, and honestly, this movie actually rem reminded me of my first true friend. And my first true friend, and I don't know if he watches YouTube, but if he does, you know who I am, and hopefully I won't get emotional making this shout out but um on keep you made me realize that excuse me i'm a special person you believed in me when nobody else would and god bless you for that <laughs> i've been trying to contact you through facebook and I wanted to reconnect somehow and I don't know I believe that anything through the will of God is possible because God moves in mysterious ways as I've said before there are so many Patels in the world though but Mr. Patel and this is unconditional but I love you because you gave me and I didn't know it at the time. I only realized it just now. It, it dawned on me. I'm sorry I'm a late bloomer. But you helped me realize that I have potential. And you made me realize what true love and true friendship really are. And I owe you an immense debt of gratitude. For, excuse me. I owe you an immense debt of gratitude that I can never fully express through the depths of my being. God love you. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um, you, um, you gave me, and then you went off, you went back to India. And I never got a chance to think, I, I didn't know. I was just a child, but if I ever have the chance, if I ever have the opportunity to see you in person, I want to hug you. <laughs> God forgive me. But there are people that come into your life that you don't realize that the universe is put there until you come upon this epiphany. And then you and then you think, "Ah, oh, there is a reason why this happened. All these horrible things happened to me." And you know, I don't think I can't even remember the the awful things i i just remember there's a reason why i love indian people so much and it's um 
due to the fact that you see such you see things in such a unique way and I completely understand now it's it's almost like a light bulb an aha for me and bless your soul I don't know where you are but you helped me come to um, become the woman I am today and I owe you I owe you much more than I could possibly say and I don't know how I'm going to be able to get in touch with you but uh I love you, and you know that. That said, that is a, it's a agape. It's it's not a romantic love. It's agape because, uh, as far as romantic love is concerned, I know who my true twin flame is. But anyway, this movie I give two thumbs way up, five stars, hands down. It's just really a touching film and thank you for those who um suggested it god bless you for suggesting it and Sharuk is just uh he's he's truly the, like uh one <laughs> of my new subscribers said he truly is the eighth wonder of the world i couldn't concur more here here uh i wrote <laughs> silly dorky me alky too wrote SRK an email. I know he's a busy man, but I wrote him an email. And I'll never know if he'll get it, but um, I asked for an autograph, of course, you know, because I do that with all the people I highly admire and respect and idolize. Just because it, he's an inspir he's one of my newer inspirations of life. I just his his as a singer, as a fellow singer, I have to, his voice. Oh, it, it is just apps this ethereal it really is i think i could listen to that voice all day long and not get to, it's so it's so mellifluous it's just it's the cure to cancer <laughs> i know that's going a little bit too extremes but um i just i think that he is this one of the most lovely sounding voices i've ever heard and plus his presence he has this presence about i don't know what it is Maybe it's because he's a fellow Scorpio, but, um, <laughs> water signs, woo! Sorry, uh, I'm half water and half fire, so I'm a lot of fun, but, water signs unite! Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going off in all sorts of directions tonight, but it, uh, really, I'm so glad I had a chance to see this wonderful film, and it is another one that I'm glad to have in my collection. Till next time, everybody, ciao, tutti!